हेलो डियर लर्नर्स वेलकम टू वीडियो लेक्चर्स ऑन सब्जेक्ट रैपिड प्रोटोटाइपिंग इन टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हाट इज द टिपिकल रैपिड प्रोटोटाइपिंग प्रोसेस व्हाई वी आर यूजिंग द एस फाइल फॉर्मेट इन रैपिड प्रोटोटाइपिंग एंड व्हाट इज मीन बाय लिक्विड बेस रैपिड प्रोटोटाइपिंग व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व इन अ टिपिकल रैपिड प्रोटोटाइपिंग प्रोसेस Rapid prototyping is the fast fabrication of a physical part or model or assembly using computer aided design. So rap in rapid prototyping we are using the CAD softwares for the development of a physical part model or assembly. The creation of part model or assembly is usually completed using additive manufacturing or more commonly known as 3D printing. So we are using the additive manufacturing technique where a layer by layer is added and 3d object is constructed so what is the typical steps involved in rapid prototyping the first step is construction of a cad model so we are using any cad softwares like autocad katia fusion 360 these softwares are used to develop a 3d cad model convert the cad model to the stl file format so stl is nothing but it is a most common format known as stereo lithography so in this step we convert the cad model into stl file format next step is check and fix the stl file format yesterday or in the previous video we have observed that during conversion of cad file into stl file there is a chances of rupture void or breakage of the file or there is some losses in the data points so we have to check and fix the stl file next step generation of support structure if needed so while generating layer by layer structure we need to provide some support structure to avoid the loss of dimension or disturbance in the manufacturing next step slice the stl file to form layers the stl file format uses the conversion of cad model into slice by slice information to provide that information to the 3d printing machine produce the physical model here the physical model is created either by using 3d printer or any additive manufacturing machineries remove of support structure we know that this support structure provided during manufacturing need to remove in the post curing process last is post processing of a physical model in this post processing it consists of a support of removal of support structure cleaning or washing all these activity comes under the post processing all these steps are shown diagrammatically in this diagram that is 3d model creation conversion into stl file format checking the stl file and fixing the problems slicing the models producing the physical object by using 3d printer removing of support structure and finally cleaning or all, all the post processing activities typical rapid prototyping why we are using a stl file format in typical rapid prototyping the stl file translates the part geometry from a cad system to the rp machine so this file helps us to transfer the information of a cad file into the our required file format of stl that is useful for the rapid prototyping machinery all cad system builds the part and assemblies store geometry in their own file format but there is a single universal file format that every system needs to able to produce so that an rp machine can process what the parts look like for slicing this is a stl file means every cad modeling software creates their file in their own file format but rp machine do not understand these file formats so we need to convert that cad cad files into stl file format in stl format slicing a part is easier compared to the other method such as boundary representation construct to solid geometry so what is the main part of this stl file is that we have to convert the 3d object into very small slice or into small parts that can be done in stl file so you can easily observe your boundary representation of a cube and its structure so you can observe here this cube is converted into first of all faces such as face number 1 face number 2 face number 3 a solid geometry is converted into number of faces as we know that there are six faces to a cube 
it is first of all converted into faces after that this face is split into edges so we can see face number one is split into a edge b edge c edge and d edge again these edges are divided into vertices such as i j k it means we are we are removing or we are converting a solid 3d object into faces edges and vertices and this information is provided to the rapid prototyping machine to develop layer by layer 3d structure you can observe here a typical example of a cad model but this cad model cannot be directly printed using 3d printing machine so we need to convert into stl file so here it is shown by the triangular information so stl file converts our cad geometry into small tiny triangles now let us understand the concept of liquid based rapid prototyping rapid prototyping process are typically divided into three types that is liquid based rapid prototyping solid based rapid prototyping and powder based rapid prototyping so in this session we are going to discuss liquid based rapid prototyping liquid based rapid prototyping has its initial material is in the liquid state so what is the input material for this liquid based system is a liquid material so the name is called as liquid based rapid prototyping in general liquid based processes have the advantage of smoothness of liquid surface in steady state and results in the part with high surface finish or good quality surface finish as we are know that when the liquid is in steady state condition it is very having smooth and which can be used for creation of a high quality surface finish material so we are using the liquid material which are where the high quality surface finish is required most of the liquid based processes use a heat source to scan a 3d profile within a barrel of heat sensitive epoxy resin so epoxy resin is a type of liquid input material where a heat source scans the 3d object or 2d object what happens when a heat source moves over the epoxy resin it cures and creates a solid object so the process is commonly known as a curing the liquid is converted into solid state as i already told you that suppose a barrel containing a liquid epoxy resin if you draw a line by using heat source that part only get heated and converted from liquid to solid state the heat source such as uv laser is chosen to control the curing in a very tiny spot to gain good part accuracy so we are using the uv laser which having a very tiny spot and this tiny spot moves over the surface of epoxy resin and we can create the object with high accuracy in general there are many other ways to solidify the liquid for example the liquid to be solidified solidified a cold source to cool the liquid by point it is also possible means either heating or by cooling we can convert the liquid into solid but mostly we are using the heat source which can cures this epoxy resin the laser cures the resin near the surface forming a hardened layer when layer part is formed it is lowered by a elevation control system to allow the next layer of resin i will explain this concept in the next videos so must watch my next videos this continues until entire part is completed how the layer by layer part is formed in the liquid based rapid prototyping i will explain in my next video lectures the barrel is then drained and part is removed for further processing once the 3d object is completed the excess resin is removed by draining the barrel there are variation in this technique by the various vendors and they are dependent on the type of laser or light source method of scanning exposure type of liquid resin and type of elevation optical system used means this liquid based rapid prototyping varies according to various vendor and the category may fall under type of light either you are using uv light or you are using laser what type of scanning method you are applying what type of resin you are using either you epoxy resin or any other type of resin type of elevation how the elevation is created what type of optical system you are using in this way we classify the liquid based rapid prototyping system so in next video lecture we are going to discuss the liquid based rapid prototyping system in detail
there are many liquid based repetitive prototyping system are there developed by 3d system so what are the different types of liquid based rp system stereolithography sla stereolithography apparatus this is the first and most popular type stereolithography apparatus next is solid ground curing sgc and third is rapid freezing prototyping rp rfp thank you